Hi and welcome. This is going to be a quick video for setting up a collaboration lab. This is going to be just a preparation. So we're going to go over the a quick uh, infrastructure piece of what I'm running and how I'm running it. We're going to download the ISO image. We're going to make it bootable and then we're going to install CUCM OVA, the template using the SXI 6.5, the web client and the thin client. So let's get to it. Basically, this is what I have. I have a switch that is connected to a server. And on this server, I want to install CUCM. Now, right now, where I'm at is another switch. And this is where my PC is connected. In this server, I also have a DNS server, which is what I'm gonna use to, to download the image and then take and complete the video and get started. So let's do it. All right. First of all, let's download uh, the new version of uh, 11.5 just came up a week ago, I believe. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download that one. We're gonna download it, we're gonna make it bootable, and then we're gonna download the OVA so we can show you, so that I can show you how, how it works. Okay. Call manager. have call manager here we're gonna go to version 11.5 so the connection updates and we see that this guy came up January 23rd so we're gonna download this guy I almost forgot about that password. All right, we're gonna save this guy, and in the meantime, we're gonna go again back to version 11.5. And this I'm gonna do from my computer. control it's easier okay go to call control we're gonna go to call manager 11 5 same thing that we were doing in the other side but in this one I want to download the virtual machine template okay so while this is downloading right here this is gonna take about 17 minutes I'm gonna pause the video once I finish here and then I'm gonna show you how to do the rest. Okay, so this guy is downloading and it's it's gonna take a while. It says 24 hours. I don't think so, but um, basically what's going on here is that this connection between these two switches there's a 10100 10100 and I'm using this is on my garage so I'm using one of those net gears that connect the the two switches over the power so the performance is not as good but 
it doesn't matter because I do have another image that I can use to show you how to make a how to make a, a, an ISO image bootable. So first thing that I want to do or you want to do is to take a, an image that it's already bootable and you will see it here. I'm using ultra ISO and this image is already bootable. Now what I want to do is I want to save the boot file. And for now, I'm going to put it here on the desktop and I'm going to call it boot BIF. Okay. Now we're going to close that guy. And first, let me check if I did it right. Yes, this is another one. This is a <laughs> another one that I always use. All right. So let's take this version this is an un unrestricted version that i have here but i just want to show you what the process is to make a an iso image bootable from call manager come here before we do anything we come here to bootable generate boot info table and then we're gonna load the boot file and we're gonna take the one that was on the desktop once we do that, it's going to say bootable. So what I like doing is I like just to save it as the same name that I used and type in the word bootable. Now I'm not going to save it because I already have one there and that's it to make it bootable. Now I just want to test if uh, the actual ISO image is already it's working. So I'm using ESXi 6.5 and this is kind of new to me. So let me see if I find a way to deploy from OVA enter the name of the virtual machine we're gonna call it G test CUCM I just want to make sure that that image that we created it's bootable you need to enter an OVA file okay yeah this is the first time I used this so let's see we're learning okay that's the disk that I'm gonna use we're going to put it on the collab UC. We're going to make this guy thin. There's at least one extra image was provided that will be ignored. I do not know what that means, but let's see. All right. Now that is there. And you know what? I'm going to make it easier for everybody here. And since I already have the email 106. Sorry about that. But we're going to do this the old fashioned way. The reason I'm going to do it through there is because I already have the image here. So it's going to be easier. Now there's some, some things that for some reason I still haven't figured out with 6.5 is the fact that, um, This thing sometimes doesn't work, but that's fine. We're going to make it work. Okay. Now here, I want to pick the ISO image on the local drive and I'm going to use this guy right here. And I want to restart it. 
And if everything works, you have a bootable image. Now we're going to do this again, but we're going to do it from from the actual the client. And let's turn this off completely. Yeah, we're going to get rid of him. Now I do want to create a new deploy OVF template. This time I want to use one of the ones that I have here. It's UCM 11.5. And I'm going to call this one Homes UCM. Now wait, th the reason I want to do it like this right now, it's because I noticed that on the, on the web client, it didn't let me pick the amount of users that I was going to use. I don't mind going with the 7,500 because it gives us more, more power, but really we're in a, on a lab environment, so we don't need it. So sometimes if you want to set it up in your lab, you may want to do the 1,000 or the 2,500. In this case, we don't care right now. So I'm going to do thin provisioning. This is going to be on the collab. You see, this is my voice. My server VLAN. And then once this completes, this is just the, the, e, the, the virtual machine that contains the information about the hardware. But that's pretty much all we did. I'm going to refresh this guy. I'm going to be going between the two of them. This is a nice nice stuff that they did with the ESXi Ma made it uh, with the web client it's really cool but it's still buggy in my opinion so we have it there 